For Inside Carolina, I'm Taylor Vipolis, and this is the Insider Rundown, where I'll cover what I'm hearing when it comes to this UNC football team. On the final play in Pittsburgh, Carolina had a true hold your breath moment as Sam Howell went down hard and was slow to get up in clear discomfort. There was a real fear that the star quarterback was going to miss the remainder of the season, but fortunately, x-rays came back negative. Officially, Howell has been listed as day-to-day -day with an upper body injury. From talking with people inside the program, Howell was a non-participant this week in practice, putting his status for Saturday's game in serious doubt. Now, he doesn't really need to practice as a third-year starter going up against a team that is 1-9 at the FCS level in Wofford, but the expectation is if Howell does play, it won't be for more than a series with the team's focus on getting him as ready as possible before it heads to Raleigh next week. The biggest concern for UNC is how it handles Howell's potential return with his emergence in the run game accounting for a lot of offensive production and how they would try to make up for that if they aren't as comfortable exposing him to more hits. Regardless of Howell's availability for Saturday, you can expect to see a lot of Jacoby Criswell and Drake May as Carolina gets a head start on trying to identify its future quarterback. UNC is excited to see both, despite neither having any real experience to lean back on since enrolling. Criswell has seen action in eight games over the past two seasons, where he's attempted just six passes. May, on the other hand, was an early enrollee this spring and has played in two games for a total of five snaps, all of which were handoffs. So you can give a slight experience advantage to Criswell, yet this is essentially a toss-up for UNC, figuring out which quarterback is ahead of the other with the hopes that Saturday provides a bit more clarification. According to the coaches, May is the more traditional pocket passing quarterback as he continues to fill out his six foot five frame. While Criswell's strength comes from being able to make plays happen with his legs and an aggressive running style. This is a race that is still way too early to call, and in spite of whatever transpires against Wofford, the staff expects this position battle to carry well into the spring and summer. That's the rundown for this week. As always, stay tuned to Inside Carolina for more football coverage in the lead up to the game against Wofford.